When you're moving sections of a jumbo jet that are as big as a two-story house. It's just amazing because you're lifting a lot of weight. You've got to pay attention to the smallest details. Everything's always close orders and close tolerances. You're watching a team of Boeing technicians begin joining the forward, center, and aft sections of the first 747-8 Intercontinental a bigger, more fuel-efficient 747. You can make sure that everything is attached and nothing is missing. All along the forward fuselage, technicians strap on steel cables from two cranes that are suspended from the ceiling. We center up, then we make sure the section is going to come up level. Two operators then maneuver the cranes to slowly lift up the section. Going right up, nice and level. We got it clear all the way around. That's nice. As the front of the airplane takes flight, spotters on the ground use hand signals to communicate with the two crane operators, and they coordinate with each other via eye and radio contact. Yeah, we watch each other real close here. It's a carefully choreographed industrial dance as the giant airplane section glides through the factory. It's kind of cool, we're the first ones to fly it. Flying is nice, but you have to land, and when lowering a section, the team must be precise. We have to line up to make sure that we set in the cradle at the right position. It's a matter of a quarter inch either way. The next move takes precision behind the wheel. Two heavy-duty tugs drag the wing and center section across the factory floor. The drivers have to stay lined up to keep the wing tips from hitting the side of the building. There's a couple places where we have literally two inches of clearance. It's tight, but the drivers pull through just fine. The team then lifts the aft fuselage and flies it to the middle of the factory to meet up with the first two sections. And just like that, the first 747-8 Intercontinental is joined. It's the first time we got to see the airplane come together. It's becoming a reality. Stretching 250 feet or 76 meters long, the plane will be able to seat 51 more passengers than its predecessor, while offering 26% more cargo volume. This airplane is going to provide tremendous value, uh, the best operating costs of any airplane in its class. We're putting in the brand new interior and it's going to be a, a wonderful addition to the 747 family. I think it's pretty amazing. We build good airplanes, <laughs> great airplanes.